I am solo traveling the Philippines right now. I got to Manila yesterday, but today I'm actually leaving Manila to go to Coron. But first and foremost, I definitely need to get some data on my phone. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I set up my eSIM, what eSIM provider I am using in the Philippines. And I'm sort of just going to run you through this. I've done a lot of research and I try to find my best option that I could use on my phone, but also on my laptop as hotspot so I could work. Because if I cannot work from this country, I will not be able to stay here as long as I wish to stay here and travel the Philippines. I have Wi-Fi because I'm staying at the hotel. That's one thing that you need to be able to connect to your eSIM. You need to have internet. So sometimes I do these things at the airport because airports often provide free Wi-Fi. So when I first get to a destination, I connect to the airport's Wi-Fi and then I set up my eSIM. I was so tired after I got here. I didn't have my head was not in the right space to try to sort out my eSIM so I didn't do it at the airport but you can definitely do it at the airport here in Manila because they have nice fast Wi-Fi actually. I'm going to use the app that I've downloaded on my phone. It's just called BNE eSIM. So this is the app that I'm going to be using today to set up my eSIM for the Philippines. So let's go on to it. So you just put where do you need your data? I'm going to put the Philippines. You can choose whether you want to purchase one-time data plan, daily or monthly. There's no expiry date on the one-time. If you go to one-time data plan, as you can see, data validity, no expiration. And that's amazing because instant activation, plan pay as you go, so you essentially just top it up when you run out of data. So that's the network that they use. It's called Smart. Supposedly it's meant to be very good for the Philippines. And you have all the different options. So you have your best seller, three gigabytes, have 100 megabytes, 250 megabytes, 500 megabytes, one gigabyte, five gigabytes, 10 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes. And then you can purchase as you wish. If you work from hotspot and you might prefer to use a plan with more data to begin with to start with so for now let's purchase this five gigabyte option so i'm going to add it to basket and here if you click my account you have your wallet so that's the current credit that I have on my wallet right now and that's where you can add top up your credit so for example you can put some credit in your account but you don't have to use it all for one country you can see how much you're using with this pay as you go method that I showed you and keep some credit for later for other countries so that's where you find your wallet and that's where you can top up your wallet so if you have some money in your account in your wallet you can pay by the purple one that's the wallet green one is to pay by your normal debit or credit card and black one is paying for apple pay so since i have money in my wallet already i'm just going to pay with my wallet i hope this works nice and easy let's see Thank you. Check out your inbox. Details of your order are inside the confirmation email. Uh, that's all your information. And you just press install on this device. Continue. Add data plan. So now I'm changing it to custom labor. Because I have so many, I couldn't just label as travel because I have different issues from different countries also. In your contacts can be assigned a preferred line at any time in the contacts app. So you have a primary number and the Philippines. Okay, so it, can, it says the eSIM has been correctly installed. So right now I'm using LTE because according to them, using LTE loads data faster here. So I'm on LTE, not 3G. 
and it's working perfectly fine YouTube is working well YouTube is working uh, my maps are working so everything is perfect so you guys this is how I set up and use eSIM in the Philippines so I use B an E Philippines fingers crossed it's going to work well for me I really enjoyed the fact that there's no expiration date on the top ups that it was very easy and quick to use from the app and all I can hope for is that the signal will be fast enough in the islands for me to use it and for me to also work from it I just want to do this quick update from Puerto Princesa because I've been traveling in the Philippines for about a week and a half now and I just want to know, let you know how I've been getting on with my eSIM and it's been very fast, it allowed me to work it actually works much faster for me than any Wi-Fi provider that I've been getting in any of the places I've been staying at and sadly yeah, I've been having problems with Wi-Fi since getting to the Philippines but my eSIM has never failed me as long as I have signal I think this eSIM provider works amazing and I can definitely work while being in the Philippines which is good news which means I can actually stay here for at least a month how I initially planned it um, but it also means that I have run out of my five gigabytes of data that I initially bought and I've already made the top up but it's super easy you do it through the app one click to top it up you just pay or just keep your money in the wallet on the app that's what I do I keep more credit because I know I'm going to use it whether in the Philippines or in other places in Asia or all over the world you know it works worldwide I always keep some money in my wallet so then I can top it up just with one click so I got more I, you know I thought five gigabytes would last me at least longer than this but not if you don't have good Wi-Fi and you have to work so <laughs> I guess that's a sacrifice that you have to make for being able to travel in the Philippines because the internet is not great but I think this is the best option that you can find so yeah just a quick update just to let you know because before I wasn't sure how strong it was going to be and whether I would even be able to work from here but turns out I can and yes I can enjoy my little paradise here <laughs> look yeah it's perfect but yeah anyway let's get back onto the video just to sum it up but yeah that's how I set up and use eSIM very easy very quick it took five minutes but if you have any questions about how to install your eSIM about different options if you have any problems installing your eSIM please leave them in the comments down below I will try to answer and help you resolve any issues or concerns that you might be having if you are having any just please leave comments down below but that's it for today I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in my next one for the solo travel series from the Philippines